Okay, this is um, a part two update on uh, resin casting. In the first part, if you remember rightly, I got these blanks out and this was the Illumilite Clear with unstabilised wood. And the first thing I want to say is I actually mixed this incorrectly and thanks to those who reminded me of that. Sometimes you get a bit complacent about the mixing because I'm used to using certain resins. This is, should be mi mixed equally um, part A and part B but weight. So, um, and as it was, it's it set perfect and it is beautiful clear resin. It's just, it's obviously going to be a problem with unstabilised wood and a lot of the wood that I wanted to use it with is unstabilised. So, I needed to do a little bit of testing because I haven't used a pressure pot before. I wasn't sure if it's because of the pressure going in pushes the moisture out. So, doing a little bit of a test. Um, I'm going to mix three different types of resin. First of all, I'm going to... Do, I must take these ones out of here. I'm going to do the Lumalite Clear with stabilised wood and see if that one comes out a little bit better. I'm obviously going to be adding colours into these. The second one I'm going to be doing is epoxy, which is a normal epoxy that I use um, for the turning stuff with unstabilised wood because I wanted to see what that one was like. And then I'm going to use also the amazing casting resin, unstabilised wood, and we'll see what that one comes out like. I am actually going to, I'm going to actually video this, but then I'm going to speed it up for you, uh, so you don't have to watch this boring stuff. Get all three of these mixed up, and get them in the pressure pot. These will need to be left overnight because although that cures in two hours, this doesn't and neither does this. And I'm going to get them hoping to get them all in at the same time. Um, so I'm going to have to be quite quick working. I'm going to do the biggest amount first in this one. Then the amazing casting resin and then the Illumilite because it's got the short, shortest opening time. So anyway, I'll put it on a time lapse and let you watch.
Okay, it's next day now. <clears throat> I haven't actually opened this yet. I've let all the the air out of it. Um, it held the pressure a little bit better because I left the air compressor attached to it last night. Um, anyway, that doesn't matter. I, it worked out a lot better. So I haven't opened it yet. So let's get opening. See how these ones turn out. It's probably very noisy for you, so right. This was the Lumalite, uh, the amazing casting resin Lumalite. That's turned out perfect. I'm not sure if I'd be able to get this out. I'll get them all out at the end. But anyway, that's the first one, and there's been no reaction there. <coughs> oh, excuse, excuse me. <coughs> um, so I'm really pleased with that. So the amazing crafting resin will be able to do my rings and stuff because I don't use stabilised wood in the rings. So that's perfect. This is the Alumalite clear with the stabilised wood and there is certainly no reaction on that. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Definitely no reaction to the stabilised wood, so as long as I use the Alumalite clear either on its own or with stabilised wood, it'll be perfect. And the last one is... This was the epoxy um, in with unstabilised wood and there doesn't certainly seem to be any anything on the top there. In fact it's, it looks nice into the, pushes it nicely into the wood, the resin. Right, I'll go away and uh, get these out of the moulds and we'll have a look at them on the inside. Right, that's the mould moulded. Um, that's the epoxy one. Came out beautiful. Very pleased with that. That's the uh, God Alumalite clear. Came out nice. Pleased with that. And that's the amazing casting resin which just came out perfect <clears throat> just came out just as I wanted it to so I am really pleased with those um, that was the other two so there is quite a difference and I'm actually doing this in between working at the minute so I shall get that posted up it'll be the beginning of the week before I get it posted up so you will be seeing this around Monday or Tuesday I wanted to show you something else while I was here um, I use the Alumalite amazing casting resin for all the jewellery because it shines lovely um, I mean you don't I don't know, I don't, you don't tend to get as crystal clear as that, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe casting a, a, another clear one just to see if there is a bit of a difference between the Illumilite um, clear and the amazing casting resin I may, I may do that as I might add that one on next week just to but anyway I uh, I made these this week now, 
I'm trying to make sure that I get them on camera so that you can see them. I talked about the, doing the features inside rings. So this one I actually used acrylic paints and just painted like a snow scene on the bottom and then um, painted greens like, I don't know, mossy mountains or, or, or tree like thing. That, that was just going for the green and the white look. And they came out incredibly well. Um, so I'm going to be making these into some rings. So I might talk about this a little bit a bit later and I don't know if you're getting bored of the ring stuff um, but I might go over what I've done with these but I'll see in the future so I did um, I did a set of four for four rings for these some have come out better than others and um, that one seems to have turned out quite good and when you can imagine it into the ring shape um, which will be roughly around this size but a bit smaller I should get that scene in there So anyway, just thought I'd let you know that I'm still doing that. I'm thinking of doing like um, like a type of sand dune one. Um, and I'll let you know how that gets on. It would be good if I had some good knobbly burr to do that in. Anyway, the main part of the video was these. So <clears throat> the epoxy with the um, with totally untreated wood, as long as it's dried, works fine. The Alumilite Amazing Casting Resin works perfect with the unstabilised wood and that's the Amazing Casting Resin Alumilite Clear Casting Resin with the stabilised wood worked out perfect. So all in all, pressure chamber worked out brilliant. Um, now I know which resins to be using with what to get the, the, the finished look that I want. Anyway, thank you very much for all your help last week. Um, it, you really massively helped me um, for this week's one. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, everybody was so willing to come forward with information for me. And thank you. I really, really do appreciate it. If you liked uh, what you see today, uh, please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, don't forget to share. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of days for the actual project of this week. Thanks very much.